The Little Sisters of the Poor are an international congregation of Roman Catholic women religious founded in 1839 by Saint Jean Jugan. Together with a diverse network of collaborators, we serve the elderly poor in over 30 countries around the world. Continuing the work of Saint Jean Jugan, our mission is to offer the neediest elderly of every race and religion a home where they will be welcomed as Christ, cared for as family, and accompanied with dignity until God calls them to himself. Saint Jean Jugan was born in Brittany, France, on the 25th of October 1792. This period of the French Revolution was a time of persecution of the church when faithful clerics were driven into hiding. Jeanne's family was poor. Four years after she was born, her father, a fisherman, was lost at sea. Her mother struggled to provide for the young Jeanne and her siblings while also providing them secretly with religious instruction amid the anti-Catholic persecutions of the day. Jean barely learned to read and write and began work as a kitchen maid when she was 16. She was often asked to accompany her kindly mistress on visits to the sick and those poorer than herself. She was also tasked with welcoming the beggars who arrived at the kitchen door looking for food. These experiences had a profound effect on her. When Jeanne was 18, a young sailor asked her hand in marriage. Feeling that she was too young, she asked him to wait. Several years later, he returned with the same request, but this time she definitively declined his request, later explaining to her mother, God wants me for himself, for work that is not yet founded. At the age of 25, Jean gave to her sisters the few nice pieces of clothing that she had, and packing the rest of her poor belongings, she left home and walked the approximately 15 kilometres to the larger village of saint Suvan. There she found work in the local hospital as a nurse. Hospitals then were no more than poor houses, and the conditions were very difficult. After six years, Jean fell ill from exhaustion and was taken in by a friend, Mademoiselle Lecoq. The two were to remain together until the latter's death in 1835. In 1837, Jean and a 72-year-old woman, Francois Aubert, rented part of a small cottage and were joined by Virginie Tridenale, a 17-year-old orphan. These three women then formed a community of prayer, devoted to teaching the catechism and assisting the poor. In the winter of 1839, all of that changed and forever. Jean encountered a blind and paralysed elderly woman, Anne Chauvin, who had been left alone and had no one to care for her. Jean carried Anne home to her apartment and placed her in her own bed while Jean slept in the attic. The congregation of the Little Sisters of the Poor was born. More elderly women came and the larger housing was needed. By 1841 she had rented a room to provide housing for a dozen elderly people. The following year, she acquired an unused convent building 
that could house forty of them. A fire of charity was lit that continues to this day. During the 1840s, many young women joined Ajon in her mission of service to the elderly poor. To provide for her elderly, Jean began begging door to door for assistance. In 1842, and again in 1843, Jean was elected the superior of the young congregation. However, two weeks after the second election, Father Le Pallure, who had been named by the parish priest to help with the new society, chose of his own accord to invalidate the election and placed one of his young penitents, Marie Jumet, as the superior. The foundress was pushed aside and remained so until the end of her life. The work, however, continued to grow, and on the outside she was still recognised as the foundress and the superior. This became too much for Father Le Pellier. In an apparent effort to suppress her true role as foundress, the Superior General ordered her into retirement and a life of obscurity which lasted 27 years until her death on August 29, 1879, at the age of 86. During these years, Jean served the congregation through her prayers and suffering. She also had a quiet influence on the hundreds of young women who came to the Mother House Novitiate to be formed as Little Sisters of the Poor. However, they did not know that she had founded the congregation, which by the time of her death counted 2,400 members serving internationally. The grain of wheat fallen into the ground to die bore much fruit. Her true role as foundress and first Little Sister of the Poor was discovered after her death, and the process for her eventual beatification was begun. Jean Jugan was beatified by Pope Jean Paul II on October 3, 1982, and canonized by Pope Benedict XVI on October 11, 2009. The Little Sisters of the Poor arrived in New Zealand, in Auckland in 1888, and in Dunedin in 1904. I was so overwhelmed with, with happiness and gratitude um, that God called me to walk in her footsteps, to be a daughter of, of, of St. Jean Chugan, and to be a daughter of the church, uh, that's an extreme and awesome honor uh, to be called to be totally consecrated to Christ and to follow a beautiful saint, to follow in her footsteps.